Leicester City's second pre-season game of the summer sees them arrive here at Sixfields to take on Northampton Town. The Cobblers fresh from their promotion to League One. The big kickoff of both of these sides is just three weeks away. So for new boss Enzo Maresca, it's a big chance to run the rule over his new squad in front of around three and a half thousand City supporters who have made that relatively short trip down the N1. Mentioned that Maresca's starting 11 includes all three of the Foxes' summer arrivals. Connor Cody, Harry Winks and as of yesterday Callum Doyle. Work fast returning late after international duty with Belgium. He's back in, he starts for Northampton Town. Three summer recruits, two permanents. One of those involved today, that's the, the big defender Patrick Brough who's arrived from Barrow. And they've also got striker Kieran Bowie. He's rejoined on loan from Fulham after a successful spell here and been part of that promotion. In terms of opposition, Matt, what are we expecting from, from Northam today? Looks very very old school, shall we say. 4-4-2, Enzo Maresca predicting, I think, pre-match. It would be quite a physical kind of route one kind of game. Yeah, yeah, you would um, predict it that way. I know perhaps a little bit simplistic to do so, but... I mean, you look at them physically, they're, they're quite imposing, aren't they? Northampton there, as, as the teams walk past each other, shaking hands. Big, strong, strapping, abrasive looking, <laughs> even in the warm-up and prior to the game. They look like they've got a little bit of attitude, good spirit, um, which will have been developed on the back of last season. As you said, not too many changes within the squad, so they'll be up for it today, won't they? They'll be looking at it thinking... Right, Leicester just got relegated, yeah. Are they going to be there? And it sounds a bit extreme, but there for the taking with this opportunity, albeit just a pre-season game. Lower league players, they get themselves fired up for these games. It's an opportunity to play against, in brackets, players of a higher, higher level. And um, they're going to showcase themselves individually and collectively. Leicester will need to be up for it, especially with the conditions. It's not going to be a stroll in the park, certainly not the early stages. We were talking pre-match about what the formation would look like, and from a Leicester point of view, it looks like a back four with Callum Doyle at left back, but as we, we kind of heard after the reports from the game against Peterborough at the training ground during the week, it did see uh, the right-back Ricardo and James Justin in the second half moving into midfield positions, and that will see Callum Doyle move across it's almost form a back three when Leicester have possession once again. You say gradually, he's only 19, John, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, it doesn't take him that long, I suppose, but uh, I get your drift. He's played at different stages, hasn't he? But Leicester, well, fast on that occasion, trying to play the long ball again. He's gone directly out of play. Conditions on the march cross. Fast had slipped with the attentions of Pepere, and then he was flipped away by Ricardo for another Northampton corner. Yeah, it was a good ball, wasn't it? A good delivery, trajectory, pace, had, had everything on it. Three players around him from all angles. He was totally aware where they were. The touch was exquisite again, as it is there. A little give and go with Ricardo in the middle of the park. Leicester on the break. Can they keep the momentum with this attack? It's Pratt to Castagna. It's a ball curled into Vardy. Holds off his man before looking for Maddy Vajua, drifting in from the left, it was Winks, it's back to Maddy Vajua. Callum Doyle joining the attack, it's a beautiful ball, swinging and curling towards Castagna, Leicester's first corner. A couple of opportunities there for Leicester, they did keep that momentum after the 1-2 of Winks and Pereira. Pratt plays it out wide and the ball's put in. Vardy it was who made the made the run in behind. He dinked it across and it came out to Winks. The shout was to shoot. It was certainly on. Coaching wise, Maresca spent time at West Ham under Manuel Pellegrini before he joined Manchester City 23s, and that's a great ball. And Vardy nearly taking the ball in his stride. Deitch just did enough, but here's Vardy again. Still the threat remains for Leicester. Here's Pratt. Uh, Pratt it was with the pass, he has that in his armoury. Ricardo tried a delicate pull back towards Castagna, it's come back to the Portuguese. 
Vardy the only man in the middle still Ricardo got it through the legs of one defender but not the other and there's Dewsbury Hall and those are the Leicester fans rising to celebrate a goal and it comes from one of their own Keenan Dewsbury Hall patient build up down the right Ricardo constantly involved the first cross was blocked it came back to him he chipped it up and Dewsbury Hall from close range popping the header into the bottom corner of the goal in front of a jubilant blue army well the pressure was mounting wasn't it a little bit Leicester forcing the issue just increasing the ante a little bit but uh, Leicester pretty much dominant in possession the majority of the time but the encouraging thing for me as much as anything there was the amount of bodies forward in the box there was numerous options I know it's the old joke, but it's a, a proud day for the Trialist family. <laughs> Corner swinging hey, Johnny, to the far post. Here he is. Shall we just call him E? Is that word better than Trialist E? He wears 45. He's nameless. But he's looking to impress and trying to grab a contract as the header comes in. Do you think From he's a relative of the Knights that say me? <laughs> <laughs> Have you now, seen that film? You're showing your age now, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. I think my dad told me about it. <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail, for those of you who don't know. Now it's Lintox, and he's supported on this near side by Honda Mark, and that'll be another Northampton corner. Sean Dyer's played for Northampton as well. Ooh. Or am I just imagining that? I always remember him at Chesterfield, but um, yeah. he was Kettering born, wasn't he? In Canada's part, part of the world. Yeah. Final 10 minutes of normal time. This first half, Keane and Dewsbury Hall with the goal. If you're joining us slightly later from a, a Saturday afternoon out, soon Saturdays will be filled with football once again as Stalarczyk and Cody both went for the ball that's still bobbling around and Stalarczyk taking control of the situation. Connor Cody just <laughs> rubbing his head and. <laughs> I'd be too happy. <laughs> I mean, the, the keeper, sort of, there must be a, a little bit of a shout, seemed too late, solid, physical, and that's going to be the case on a number of occasions, I, I, even in the championship. It's an edge that Leicester bring, needs to bring to their game. Good first time ball by Manny Vadua to Vardy, who shoots wide. He was caught late as well by the Northampton defender, sliding in, but he's quickly, acrobatically bounced back to his feet. Brilliant first time ball by the youngster, Manny Vadua. Yeah, good awareness by Manny Vadua. His best bit of play in the game that's what he's capable of you know flashes of of excellence there Christiansen over the top Jewsbury Hall he's got the goal can he uh, maybe assist with the second two and now three to pull it back to he's still going Burj got a touch but Vardy his shot blocked Dennis Pratt straight at Burge well, some real excitement early in this second half and Dewsbury Hall driving forward. And it came to Vardy, we thought the net would bulge and then Burge quickly on his feet and in the right place to make the stop from Pratt. Yeah, good timing, good cooperation with his teammates as well. Matter of huh? you know, re recognising that if he came short, he'd create the space for Dewsbury Hall in behind. I think uh, the space was inviting the, the pass into that channel. Dewsbury Hall just striding away. It looks like a queue for two buses, the way the players have just lined up on the side of the pitch. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. That's quite a show of strength, though, isn't it? <laughs> From Leicester's point of view. I mean, Northampton looking across going, that's a championship team. Basically, nine changes are they making, it looks like. Fast, Cody, Castagna, Ricardo, Pratt. Winks, yeah. Vardy, uh -oh. Jewsbury Hall, Maddie Vadu are going off, Chowdhury, Vestergaard and Didi, James Justin, Patson Dacker, uh, Mark Albrighton, yeah. Casey McAteer. I think I've grasped everybody there. Suter, looks a couple of inches taller or so on him, not, not as heavily built, but... Corner is dealt with, uh, Suter or Vestergaard getting involved, it, it's the... Uh... They should be menacing, John, put it that way. <laughs> If they're not, questions need to be asked. Makatia, he's wriggled free. 
and he set one up for Sue to where you thought the height would be the advantage maybe he almost rose too too soon for that one and the header has dropped over the bar he's got a little bit McAteer hasn't he I've seen him in the 23s I've seen him play the first team um, down at Gillingham and yeah. I thought he performed pretty well he's, he's got a confidence about him he doesn't look overawed you know he looks like he, he thinks He's at home in this sort of company. Made his Leicester debut early last season in the, the Carabao Cup draw at Stockport, became the penalty hero. Went on to make 12 Premier League appearances towards the end of the campaign. Dakar's back heel to McAtee, a lovely ball to Ian Acho. And then it's Ndidi and it's White. Northampton cut apart down the Leicester left. And when it came back to Ndidi, not renowned for his goals as he swung his left boot at the ball and it's a shot that goes wide for how long for and at what intensity and especially for a new manager still getting to know these players and you yeah. may have seen a difference from training to, to what he's seen in the game and Didi again it's a trademark down that right side and this time he set one up towards McAteer good defending on the far post by Peter Abimbola Here's a chance for Christiansen, Abimbola there again, and then it's James Justin into the ground and tipped over the bar by the youngster James Datch. Leicester so close to a second goal. Well, you wouldn't be surprised if it was to arise, wasn't it? But indeed, again, yeah. I mean, they've, we talked about Jewsby Hall in the first part of this second half being a, a main feature. So is Wilfred Ndidi on the opposite side. And that, that, that diagonal... Uh, forward running understandably it's just petering out of touch but uh, still works to be done stay mentally focused a few Leicester supporters leaving early and heading up the giant hill behind that goal to the left which the shot comes in on well it was Trilis B looking to stand out with the free kick that was touched around the post by Daniel Everson I think so. he's questioning the wall a little bit there, but he was on hand to make a, an acrobatic save. Well, was a hell of a strike, wasn't it? He runs a bit like you, doesn't he? <laughs> Boy, so he's got the same silly little quip as well. <laughs> <laughs> Clap it when you've seen me running. <laughs> Away from the bar. <laughs> and there he's full time. Not before time, before Matt continues. <laughs> Leicester win it then by a goal to the other goal coming in the first half with Keenan Jewsbury Hall's header 27 minutes in another workout for Enzo Maresca and his new side in the second half Leicester certainly threatened the goal but just couldn't quite find a, a second Vardy and Pratt and Didi Dakar all coming close and then we saw the young goalkeeping substitute James Dadge making a, a very important save to deny James Justin. The Leicester City fans starting to depart, but they will applaud off their players before doing so.